Hey, it's the Steel Lodge. Today we're just going to open MW. Open MW enhances Morrowind and lets it run natively on platforms like Linux machines. And obviously the Steam Deck is built on Linux, so it'll run great on there, and it also gives us some graphical enhancements. Let's jump right into it. First off, we're going to install Morrowind. I'm going to install my copy to my micro SD card. You can also install it to your internal SSD. Later on, when we're messing with OpenMW, uh, the native installation, I'll show you where to find the files for that. Now, the first version we're going to do is using the Proton Qt app. If you don't have it, just search for it here and install it. I already have it installed, so I'll just go ahead and launch it. Now, the thing we're going to be looking for is called Luxor Peta, and we just want to add the latest version of it. Make sure you close Steam down before you launch into the Proton Qt application. Now, with the application open, just hit Add Version and look for Luxor Peta and add the latest version of it. If you want to, you can also install Proton GE, but use that for different stuff, not for what we're doing today. Using this version, we can just force Steam to use the compatibility tool and have it use the OpenMW engine when we launch Morrowind, so we don't actually need to go ahead and install the thing separately. Once Luxor Pet is installed, you can do this in desktop mode or in game mode. Just go to your Morrowind game and go to Properties. Now under Compatibility, go ahead and force it to use Luxor Peta. Now when you launch Morrowind, it's going to go ahead and ask you what version of Luxor Peta you want to use. There will be a couple things listed here. You probably just want to use the OpenMW one. There's also like latest OpenMW, but the OpenMW that's on there should be the stable version. So just go ahead and click it and set it as default if you don't want to have to select the version every time. Now Morrowind should launch totally fine here in game mode or desktop mode, but we'll look more at the gameplay later. We're going to go to the next installation. Now we're going to manually install OpenMW. This is a much harder, but I think it gives you more control over the application. Just go to your Discover Store and search for OpenMW, and it's right there. Go ahead and just install it here. Once it's installed, go ahead and search for it and add it to Steam by just right-clicking on it. The first time you install this, you need to go through the installation wizard to figure out where the game file is located. My version already had it set up, but I'll show you how to do this here. Now click Existing Installation, and normally there won't be anything here, so you need to browse. And then go down to your primary, Steam Apps, Common, and then go to Morrowind, Data, and there will be your Morrowind ESM file. If you have this installed on your internal SSD, the process will be a little bit different, but I will put some stuff in the description explaining where the file will be. Now just go ahead and use the default settings here and go through it. The OpenMW launch gives you more fine-tuned control over the game. I don't know if you can access this through just using the Lux Torpedo version, but some of these options do appear just in the game through the start menu, for instance, some of these graphic settings. But you can do more tuning here, and that's kind of why I like this better. I'm not super familiar with the options here, but you can go ahead and play around with them, and there's a lot of people that have better videos than me covering this subject. One thing to note is I enabled all those shadows at one point, and then in Morrowind when I went on the world, my frame rate tanked, so you might want to do some research. Now here's a quick comparison for the settings that we have in the game. On the left is the vanilla version, and you can see here in the video settings, there is way more options for OpenMW, things like FOV, different texture filtering options, you know, enabling water shaders and lighting, so a lot more options and more resolutions to pick from. Now we'll jump over to a comparison visually between the vanilla version and either OpenMW version. Okay, here we have an image comparison and performance comparison between the vanilla version of Morrowind without using any OpenMW add-ons or changes. And then on the right side, we have the OpenMW launcher launched through the Steam Deck in game mode. Overall, the performance here on the OpenMW version is better in a lot of scenes. Beyond that, the resolution of the game is actually better too, so everything just looks better from the geometry, the edges, and even the texture filtering here since we've cranked it up to 16x. If you look at a texture, uh, depending on the angle of the camera, it can look pretty muddy on the vanilla version, but on the OpenMW version, things look a lot sharper and nicer. A big difference is when we hop out here and look at the water outside. The new water shader looks so much better than the original one in Vanilla Morrowind that it's definitely worth using the OpenMW version. Beyond all the visual improvements, the controller inputs also way better on OpenMW. The original version of Morrowind has the controller mapped to just keyboard and mouse inputs, while the OpenMW version has actual official controller support. You will need to look into it a bit to understand it, but it works a lot better. OpenMW also has mod support, but I won't be looking into that today. That will be for a future video down the line. Now we'll jump over to our next comparison. Now here we have a comparison between Luxorpedia and using the native installation of the OpenMW app. Honestly, performance-wise, they're extremely similar. I just wanted to compare them directly side by side. 
As I mentioned earlier, if you enable shadows for a lot of things in OpenMW, it can tank the frame rate, so be careful with that and experiment a bit. Another thing I want to mention here is that the control setup I'm using now is different than when you just have the vanilla version of Morrowind installed. Since OpenMW has a lot better controller support, I went ahead and changed the controller settings for the Steam Deck to just be a regular gamepad with the right trackpad set to a mouse, where if you click on it, it'll do a right click, or a left click rather, and then if you click on the left trackpad, it'll do a right click. Setting this up for Morrowind is nice because it lets you interact with the menus and UI better. I'd recommend doing a little bit of research into the controller settings for OpenMW. For some things, it looks like you have to click it on the left thumbstick to make it use the controller if you want to progress through menus. Otherwise, if you move the trackpad, the mouse will enable, and you can't use the controllers to interact with some of the UI options. But for things like your inventory, I definitely recommend using the trackpad instead, because I don't even think some of the things can be interacted with using just the joystick input controls. Finally, I'll just leave a couple minutes of OpenMW being played on the Steam Deck here. Morrowind's a really iconic game that a lot of people consider to be the best Elder Scrolls game. It's definitely a lot different than Oblivion or Skyrim if you're used to just playing those games. For instance, when you attack an enemy, there's actually stat checks happening and rolls happening, so you might be swinging your sword at an enemy and it might look like nothing's happening at all, but in the actual background, rolls are being done and uh, stat checks are happening. So basically, if a puff of blood or something appears on an enemy, that means you did hit them and you did the damage. But you need to swing your sword a lot sometimes to be actually able to hit them in the first place. Morrowind was actually the first game I ever played in the Elder Scrolls series, but it was back on my original Xbox and I just rented it a couple times from Blockbuster and played around with it. I was pretty young back then, so I didn't really understand the game very well, but I thought the cover was cool and I really liked getting lost in the world. Later on, I got really into Oblivion and modding that, and obviously Skyrim was a huge game, and it was massive for me at the time. The games have definitely got more streamlined over time, and it's refreshing to come back to a game like Morrowind that has a lot more hardcore mechanics, and things that don't explicitly tell you like where a uh, you know, quest location is. You have to use your journal and figure things out. And since there's not a lot of spoken dialogue, some conversations with people can be pretty long and give you a lot of info because you know not all those lines need to be said, so there can just be more written that you can interact with. I'll just let the rest of the gameplay play out here, but thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content just like this one. I'll be looking into modding OpenMW on the Steam Deck pretty soon here. Uh, come on then, say something or move on. Want. I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up. Go ahead, stranger. I'm waiting.
Thank you. 